Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this is my video on why Rich Johnston hates Tuesdays. I'll explain later, but Jawbreaker's uh, Grand Bazaar uh, is uh, just come out. We just uh, crossed 1,000 backers in my sleep, thanks to uh, Ethan and everyone who were, uh, they were promoting it uh, last night. Um, uh, so uh, this is, uh, you know, comics are still selling during these trying times. They're just selling online, and they get mailed to you. Speaking of getting mailed to you, boom, that's pretty slick, except for this is actually my second attempt at this video <laughs> since I didn't have it set up correctly. But this is the Iron Sights 2 Indiegogo, uh, which is uh, closed because I didn't over, I didn't, I didn't overprint enough. I overprinted and then the in-demand sold all the overprint. Um, so uh, I got word from people on Friday before I launched Jawbreaker's Grand Bazaar that they had received Iron Sights 2 Psychos, but I had not gotten any uh, uh, confirmation by, you know, I hadn't received any photos yet. So I got a couple of them yesterday and I, I used one to uh, uh, update. And this is my favorite phase of crowdfunding when people get the book and their reactions. I love that part. It's my favorite part. So thanks to everyone who uh, got that. Pandemic is, uh, we're still, uh, I wrote three more pages uh, yesterday. And then Expendables Go to Hell has literally one more thing done. One page of Butch Geis's, uh, uh, you know, Gunnar Jensen side quest has to be colored. And then all of the art is done for the entire book. Very exciting. Uh, so anyway, um, uh, the other day, Sweetcast did a fantastic video about bias and how to spot it and how it works. And he juxtaposed, you don't get to use that word a lot. <laughs> don't get a lot of opportunities to use that word. So when you get it, use it. He juxtaposed two articles that had come out, I believe, on the same day, oh, one day apart. So you have this April 30th. Uh, article on Mitch and Betty Breitweiser getting uh, their comics into Walmart. And then you have this uh, uh, <laughs> article uh, about a uh, very wealthy man's uh, extremely complicated plan to effectively give $500 worth of vouchers to people. So anyway, so what he did is he pointed out um, <clears throat> that when Mark Wade is presented, he is just presented as Mark Wade. Now, courtesy of comic book creator Mark Wade, bold, it appears that it is going to still be free comic book day for 50 people at the store. Um, but then when it's Mitch and Betty Brightweiser, it's uh, all of this controversy. Mitch Brightweiser gained some controversy four years ago after he posted congratulatory pieces regarding Donald Trump's election. Uh, that's a nice way to say he was... Uh, Politically discriminated against. Yes. Um, then he brings up some, you know, things that's, that's not germane about, you know, uh, the chairman, Ike Perlmutter, likes Trump, so therefore, so, yeah. Uh, then he says, tangentially linked to the Comicsgate activist group. What, what is the tan... He doesn't even have a hyperlink for proving tangentially linked. He just has a hyperlink to, you know, here's all, every time uh, Comicsgate is... Admit, and then... Uh, passive voice pulled out of a convention over personal safety concerns. A nice way to say, you know, you know, they're being, you know, in an unsafe environment because of the political discrimination that you yourself help foster. Um, and uh, then it's just like shade, 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 shade. Uh, and it, it's, it's a great thing. Mark Wade exists just as Mark Wade, comic book uh, creator, but um, uh, Mitch and Brady. Brightweiser must be destroyed because Rich is joining in on the political discrimination that is common in the uh, industry. So anyway, uh, he's been gaslighting the hell out of people regarding DC. It's got to be so awkward if like you just kind of got into watching the channel. So there was a single point of failure. There was essentially one distributor for the comic book direct market to comic book shops. It has been found a benign monopoly. And uh, they stopped doing the thing that's in their name. Diamond Comics dis Distributors did not distribute comics. Uh, they basically stopped for several weeks. And uh, everyone else was left with no revenue unless they found new revenue streams. Uh, for, some, for some very compl complicated legacy 
deep lore reasons. The comic book industry, digital comics cost the same as the print comics. Jeez, I can't imagine if you're just, you're, you know, it's, you know, it's a Sunday. You're, you're working on the deck out back. Oh, I gotta recommend something about comics. You used to read comics as a kid. What? They only had one distributor? What? Digital costs the same as physical? What? And then the companies were basically emotionally blackmailed into not doing any digital comics, new comics. Comics that were already done. So DC, valiantly trying to save their employees from being furloughed, which is just unemployed with medical care. So basically, you're like European. <laughs> no, actually, in Europe, when you're furloughed, they pay 80, I guess the government pays 80% of your uh, pay. In uh, America, um, unemployment is is capped. Um, and I don't think it's ever 80% of what your last job was. Um, it is like tied to what your last pay was. Um, DC did not lay off anyone because they kept a revenue stream, digital, and they found a way through, I am sure, incredible expense uh, to, uh, you know, encourage two retailers to become distributors um, or, you know, distributors in a new way. They'd both been doing it. Uh, this is Midtown Comics and DCBS. And they became uh, UCS and Lunar, respectively. Uh, you don't get to use that word a lot, respectively. Yeah, juxtaposing, respectively. Nice. Um, and uh, Rich has not stopped gaslighting people about this. So his latest thing is that hmm, comics release on a Tuesday was completely unheard of. It'd be better just to not release any than on a Tuesday. Um, so uh, DC Comics explain why it's new comic book Tuesday now. I mean Tuesday? Seriously? It's completely untoured. Um, DC Comics has written to comic book retailers regarding the current change in circumstance. <laughs> oh, that passive voice. I love that passive voice. It's not an industry collapse. It's just a current change in circumstances. Uh, I have this uh, 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 line I thought of years ago, and I still haven't found a situation to put it in. I might be able to fit it into Jawbreaker's Grand Bazaar. One tough guy character accuses another tough guy character of being scared. And he says, I'm never scared. However, sometimes I, in, I am inherently aware of the danger in a certain certain situation. <laughs> so it's not a comic book collapse. It's just a current change in circumstances. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jesus, come on, dude. Really? Gaslight better, bro. Um, these have seen DC Comics distributing comics through two new distributors, UCS and Lunar, while Diamond shut down. So much passive voice. Uh, now that Diamond is starting up again, citation needed, it, you, you know, prove it. Distribute comics, prove it. Uh, UCS and Lunar will continue to distribute DC titles as well as Diamond. This is the part that um, I actually got angry. I was actually... Uh, I. I prefer to do, I prefer to do, if I'm going to do a screenshot, I, I prefer to do it closer to when I'm going to release because, you know, I'm going to show jawbreakers and, you know, the current uh, numbers. Let's see if it got, went up. Okay, so it went up three. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Um, but uh, I was really mad. So I, I've often talked about the traits of, you know, um, uh, the basically um, the people who are always causing problems and, and it is uh, malicious mentally ill and miserable i don't believe that rich johnson is is uh, mentally ill or miserable he seems to delight in in causing chaos and problems uh but he is malicious i mean current change in circumstances and, and please look at the screen i'm not making it up why would retailers going forward use more than one distributor when they could get all their comics through diamond Wow, I just, I just like yelled really loud in my head. Because Diamond failed them. Because Diamond didn't do literally the only reason, the thing they exist. And then when they claim that they couldn't do it, other people were able to do it. Um, also, why would anyone encourage 
returning to a monopoly, benign or not. And I gotta tell you, to all the people being furloughed, which is just fired with frickin' healthcare, to all the contractors who were bragging, oh, these comics gators, they're saying I've, I've got more work than... Why, one week later, I have been laid off. Now, when a contractor is laid off, there is no health care. There's just nothing. Would you still call it a benign monopoly now that it was a single point of failure? The idea of having options and the idea of being confused about why people would want them when we've had thousands of people fired, laid off, or just not given the follow-up gig that they were expecting and counting on because you relied on a single point of failure, a benign monopoly, and you're confused. You're not confused. You're malicious. And you're scared. You don't understand this new industry. You don't know how to threaten it or control it. You, you understood how to threaten and control the old industry, the failed industry, the one that collapsed. But this new one, you don't know what... It, it, how, how, who do you threaten here? Indiegogo made incredible, you know, had incredible success working with me and my friends. People go here, they order it, they make it, print it, ship it. Who do you threaten? Um, why would retailers going forward use more than one distributor when they could get all their comics through Diamond? Well, the only reason we can give is that they will get to sell comic book titles on Tuesday. Yeah, that's it. Hey, Rich, you fooled everyone. Gaslighting level expert. Yeah, the only reason people are going through UCS and Lunar is because they want to dastardly sell DC Comics on Tuesday. And not that it's their only choice to get any new product. Cursing in my head a lot right now. Well, the only reason we can give is that they will get to sell DC Comics titles on Tuesday, a day before competing comic book stores who don't use Lunar and UCS. We'll get into the politics of that in a minute, but here's what DC Comics has to say in questions they pose themselves. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry they did a fact. I'm sorry. I'm sorry they did. Yeah. Can you imagine being so petty and malicious you have to throw shade on a company doing a fact? FAQ. <sighs> oh my gosh. So much gaslighting, passive voice, maliciousness, and pettiness in basically one and one quarter paragraphs. So here's in the, the box in um, uh, gray. This is uh, what uh, DC released straight to uh, comic book shops. Number one, will Tuesday remain DC's new on sale date? Why Tuesday? Answer, yes. Tuesday on sale allows us to sync up release dates across all markets, and retailers are free to sell DC product when they receive them on Tuesdays. Retailers can also continue to sell new DC products starting on Wednesdays, should that work best for their stores and clientele. I'd say boom, but I mean, that, that's it. Do you see the pettiness and maliciousness and vindictiveness here? And then just a business talking to, you know, it's B2B, but it's just a business. Why Tuesday? Because that's how our logistic train works. That's how, you know, when we ship out all the books to Barnes and Noble, um, and you know, we basically have one book chain here in uh, America. Uh, but basically when books go out to the regular bookstore market and we've already got trucks and boxes going out, we also send the comics. It helps us save money. It syncs everything up. Number two, will the titles shipping via Lunar and UCS eventually be available through Diamond? Yes, starting with the currently scheduled on sale date of May 19th for books that were on final order cutoff on Monday, April 27th. So uh, Diamond has said that they are going to start distributing again May 19th. Now they need to prove it. Uh, schedules are expected to be in sync across all distributors by May 19th. Why was it necessary to zero out our orders at Diamond? Uh, 
So uh, diamond, they say diamond orders were zeroed out for DC titles originally scheduled to be on sale May, April 1st, April 8th, April 15th, and April 22nd to ensure that you don't receive double orders should you choose to order from one of our new distribution partners. How will returns be handled with the new distributors? Lunar and UCS will handle returns in the traditional manner. I don't, yeah, I don't care about this. Will comics coming from Lunar and UCS in the next three weeks be first printings? Yes, unless otherwise specified like Batman 89, third printing, and Nightwing uh, 72nd printing. Um, then here comes uh, confused industry and uh, analyst Rich Johnson. Appropriately, we can do a little unpacking here. Bookstores generally have new book day on Tuesday, and that includes graphic novels. Oh, so you knew that before you were confused about Tuesday. Now, now you know about Tuesdays. Sometimes that means a collection or graphic novel will appear in bookstores a day before comic stores or six days afterwards. <laughs> now, for DC Comics at least, they will have bookstore and comic bookstore parody. For comic shops that order through Lunar and UCS, Diamond is still sticking to Wednesday, and they won't let DC go early, because that will give them competitive advantage against other publishers. If they put everyone out on Tuesday, it would increase distribution costs getting the books through a day earlier, especially for international. It, it wouldn't be a day earlier, it would just be the day. You now... Oh, so so he tried to do a little straw man that Diamond was going to do two release dates, one for Tuesday for DC and no one for Wednesday. No, if you just get everyone on board for Tuesday, you release on Tuesday. Or you could just ship all of the Marvel stuff to be ready for Tuesday and then say you're not allowed to re release it till Wednesday. But maliciousness above all. Uh, why? Because Rich understood the old way. And he knew how to threaten people in the old way. He doesn't know how to threaten people in the new way. He's confused. He's scared. Um, uh, the UK will not get Luna or UCS distribution. So again, the UK will be out of step with the US. A situation that former DC VP Bob Wayne fought to eliminate. Well, they're just gearing up. Give them time. I heard they're starting to expand into... Canada and the UK will probably be the next expansion. It's it's logical. Although on my uh, Indiegogos, it will break down. You know, you know what percentage comes from what uh, countries. You know, obviously United States is the main one. Then it's Canada. I'd I had always assumed that it was UK that was the next largest group of uh, customers I have. It's not. It's Australia. It is. It's Australia. I love it. We, we love the Australians, but I was surprised. Uh, so I'm going to have to go pay more attention to that. And uh, perhaps I can start um, dialing in more exactly the overseas postage for uh, Australians. And, 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 you know, that's it's it's viable to do it. I used to do. Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Shipping prices by, you know, United States. And then I would do Canada and UK and they both had the same price. And then I would do rest of the world. Um, but knowing that, you know, uh, Australia is my third largest market in the future. I'm going to, you know, try to, you know, treat them as they should be treated quite well. Um, uh, Steve Jeppy talked about not wanting to go back to the distribution battles that saw stores using air freight to get a day advantage over others airplanes what a fad i prefer horseless carriages it's so much more romantic and you can watch their balls swing and it's fascinating um and spending a lot of money that didn't go back into comic books will we see that kind of fight again look at all of this gaslighting in support of a benign monopoly that failed people can you imagine speaking to anyone in any industry? It's like, so, uh, monopolies, they're great, right? No, I'm okay. So, you know, yeah, okay. A little wiggle room. So you want a monopoly, right? No. Okay. So, okay. We'll, we'll put a pin in that one. We'll come back to it. So monopolies, they're great. Leave. Okay. What do you mean by that? Um, also 
What will DC Comics look like to Diamond going forward? No longer exclusive to Diamond, so no longer a premier publisher, no longer at the front of previews, and no more gems or spotlights. Will it have been worth it to DC to gain that added date? Well, yeah. They didn't have to lay off anyone. They were solvent. Uh, the, the only, I've heard they've canceled some projects, but they canceled those and they put people onto other projects. Uh, they didn't fire them. So yeah, they're doing just fine. Rich Johnson, they don't need your help in learning new ways to furlough people. As what happens when you listen to people like Rich Johnson, like Brian Hibbs. Um, DC Comics has also stated that all the titles are the printing that it has been indicated they are on solicitation. Again, I'm, I'm reading this as it's written. I'm, okay, I, I won't do an accent. Let's see if it makes more sense. DC Comics has also stated that all the titles are the printing that it has been indicated they are on solicitation. Moving on. Though as Bleeding Cool has noted, the giant books have been the Walmart mass market editions rather than the direct market editions the retailers were expecting. So basically there were Walmart focused ads. That, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm sure the retailers were heartbroken, Rich. You can, ca oh, yeah, because so then he just promotes himself. But uh, the utter maliciousness, pettiness, vindictiveness, and just dishonest gaslighting is, uh, would almost be impressive if it wasn't so infuriating. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the GoFundMe, the Patreon, and the Indiegogos. You're funding original content and an original lawsuit. Links are in the description. Uh, let's check out how much Jawbreaker's Grand Bazaar has gone up. We've gone from one thousand. Oh, I should have checked my phone before I made myself look stupid. Um, uh, but uh, oh, so just got an email. Uh, somebody who works at Walmart. Uh, says they just got the Allegiance uh, Arts, whatever you call it, end cap display. Although an industry uh, expert says we call them side caps. End cap slash side cap display. Uh, the box and the, wow, it looks great. And it almost looks like, like you, they pull, they pull the, the display box out of the box it was mailed in and the comics are like just right there. Um, wow, cool. Very, it looks great. That is a, that is an awesome looking, uh, display. Uh, so, uh, anyway, um, uh, thanks for watching. Go check out, uh, Jawbreaker's Grand Bazaar. Uh, this one is, is well on the way. I'll announce, uh, stretch goals, uh, eh, probably in a couple days. You know, there's the natural thing. The first few days are very, then it starts to slow down. Um, uh, and then I'll announce those. Yeah, why not say it? <laughs> Stretch goal will be a backup story. A, a guy's been trying to audition, and his audition has been as every page is like another page in a short story. So he got five pages in, and I was like, it's it's good, and I'm, I'm actually interested in the story. Like, where are you going with this? He's like, giant monster. I was like, oh, tell me more. Um, uh, so then, uh, like I said, Iron Sights. Send me your pictures and, and your reviews and your thoughts and do reviews. And I'm very, very, very excited about hearing the reaction to Iron Sights 2 Psychos. Pandemic uh, still in demand. Boy, geez, wow, another 340 backers after I closed it down accidentally in my sleep. Uh, and then the Expendables go to hell. It's just chugging along. As as uh, Ethan was saying, he goes, you know, uh, things are just kind of slow and steady wins the race. You know, I won't check something for a couple days and it's up a couple thousand. It's up, you know, a hundred or more backers. Thank you very much. So I'm going to continue to, that's going to be the plan. The plan is to go to print and then overprint a lot. So, you know, you know, a year and a half ago, two years ago, I had essentially no competition. Now there's tons of competition. So, you know, you, you got to work on people. Sometimes they don't want to buy it the first literally 30 times I hear it. Then they like, you got me, you got me. Or, you know, they, they, they move some money around because they're buying so many crowdfunding uh, books that they're like, hey, you know, I'm, uh, hit me up in June. Believe me, I'm still going to be promoting all these books in June. Trust me. That's 
You don't have to worry about that one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, I forgot to do my joke. I was going to do like the Batman v Superman. So anyway, it's a couple. I had these jokes ready and I didn't use them. So uh, anyway, it, eh, it's over. I missed the opportunity. One was going to be about like a, like a stereotypical psychiatrist. is like, so rich, what happened to you on a Tuesday? Uh, and then the other one is like, Tuesday, why did you say that name of that day? <laughs> yeah, I missed that one. The ship has sailed on those two jokes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.